Happy spring. I'm out walking Burke and just appreciating. It's the first day in forever that there's little glints of sun. I don't know if you can see this, but look in the lake. It's a little nest of swans. A question I've been thinking a lot about. What if we look at now and all that's happened and trace the story of love's protection? It would mean that you edit your sense of history. It would mean that you look for the good that has been embracing you and everyone eternally. When I do that, edit my sense of history, I claim that I'm writing her story because no matter what the event, when, where, and all that took place, there's always a current of love that is forever leading each of us to grace. And I wanna invite you to take moments in your now. <clears throat> Hair's going everywhere, sorry. And ask yourself that question. Where is the evidence? Hang on a second, it's saying it's low battery. Where is the evidence of love holding me somehow? Because there's a way that thought gets stuck and paralyzed in all the biggies that occur. And then wanna sort of victimize the person and give that her label now. You can refute the labels. And it doesn't mean that you lose your story. It means you dig deeper to find her story and all its glory. I wanna do more with this. Oh, it's a dream to help every girl and woman rewrite her sense of life by looking, for the, by looking through the lens of love that's always held her day and night and find the evidence of that protection and that ushering forward and that saying no more and that, you know, guiding her to victory where no one's gone before. My heart to yours, you have got to see the way the sunlight is twinkling on that beautiful pond, Morse Pond in Wellesley. I'm off to play with the swans and keep thinking about this and writing about this. If it seems like I've been a little bit offline, I have, and I'm figuring out those next steps, like I'm sure each of you are. Big love wherever this finds you. Happy Friday. Look for the evidence of love. Strive in your thought to write her story. <laughs>